another day another video and this time around it's um, deer that got that turn so what I'm going to draw is a rather smallish deer from South America called a Taruku and uh, well let's get started first off deer have big eyes so let's emphasize that a bit and here we go. Now most of them also have facial markings of one kind or another and in this species that's a ring with some, around the eye with some extensions here and mar wide markings on another eyes um, beige face. The stop of the nose is rather prominent here though it could have been a bit more actually it's not so here we go made a misjudgment here's the nose which is prominent then there's the jaw compared to the real animal I might have drawn well, I might have drawn the eye a bit big, but of course we're not drawing fully realistic animals. There's the ear. Now, I'm going to give this one, I will give this one, a rather dynamic look, or at least that's my um, intention. Oh, this should be a bit long. Antlers, of course, are the hallmark of a deer, and this proves this deer to be a male. After all, reindeer are the only deer that also sport antlers when they're female, if they're female. Here we go. The, the antlers of the species are not, are not very uh, impressive. So I'm helping myself here. We're choosing a species that is not all that uh, fancy. Shoot me if you do not like it. Now, I've decided to let this deer, which uh, is a species from rather mountainous areas, run. And it's running down. Here we go. So there's the knee. Oh, here's the back of the leg. The legs are rather short for a deer, as often happens when animals live in mountainous areas where you want to be fast but you also want to be stable and having very long legs is not going to help there so by drawing the leg like this don't forget to draw the hooves too can make it look a bit well dynamic so let's give it some emphasis marks here there's the tail let's also let that short fellow play along by making it seem like it moves a lot we go again the, the front legs are not all that visible so that's easy for me okay there are some markings beneath the th uh, uh, beneath the throat as well as on the back. Also, we shouldn't forget to infer that there's something of fur visible. So, just a tip, just a piece of advice: make such uh, hairs flow with the rest of the body as well as in the direction you want to emphasize. Let's let's give it. Oh, let's give it some. Eyebrow, eyebrows that emphasize the fact that it wants to move fast. Let's do this. Gives it a bit more focus. Oh, and let's not forget the other ear. Here it is. Now, I'll sharpen this line a bit. Let's give it some underground as well as some sense of movement. Shouldn't forget to give it something of a hill from which to descend. It doesn't have to be very fancy. You'll just have to make a suggestion. But don't forget to draw textures. And here we've got our 
Dear, which is a Taruka. Hope you enjoyed watching once, once again.